the coils have to be clockwise. Um, the magnet wire coils have to be clockwise, anyways. Be and they have to be clockwise when they're put onto the stator. Everything's gotta be clockwise. I'm putting these down with a hot glue gun. I'm putting this screw on in here for my access. So I made my stator. Now I'm going to make my rudder. Altogether, this is really an alternator. So I have these washers, see? And I'm going to put them, put each one an equal distance away from each other on the rotor. Now I'm going to sharpen this so it spins very good in the screw. I'm going to poke a hole dead center in my rotor now. I just put some real powerful magnets onto my rotor. And that, that was a real pain. Now I'm going to see if it can spin. Well, it's been. Now, all I have to do is build the turbine. So, I found the diameter of my water bottle. And then, I set my compass to the radius. Once I did that, I drew one line three times the radius. And then, I found the middle. And then I created, I, I mean, I created three line segments. So then, what I did was, I traced out the, I created a semicircle for the first line segment. And then I created another semicircle for the second line segment. Alright, so I finished cutting out um, the template. I cut out two. My mom helped me a little because foam core is really hard to cut and cut. Now I have to cut this bottle perfectly in half. I'm finished cutting it in half. Now I'm gluing each half of the water bottle onto the templates, or I should have to say turbine top and turbine bottom. Make sure not to touch the plastic with the glue gun. Now, I have a nice vertical turbine that I can mount on my axle. Okay. Now that I put my vertical axis turbine onto my alternator, I'm going to put everything back together. And there we have it. Alright, so I realized after I made this turbine and had it like that, before I glued the cross member, I realized anyways that um, I had the turbine on upside down. So I realized that after I checked because it was going counterclockwise, but everything has to go clockwise. So then I switched everything and then grew up glued on the cross member. And this is a lesson that many of you should now know. You should always check before you do. Now, for the moment of truth, can my turbine light up this LED light bulb? We'll now turn on the fan. Now 
we're going to stick on this LED light. It's almost on now. See? The point. And there we have it. My turbine can light up an LED light. But unfortunately, we don't have a rectifier, so it's an alternating current. So the light will only blink. Thank you. Okay, so now I lowered the rotor on this. And so the LED blinks very well now. And as you can see, I've now mounted it onto my base. So. Now, let's see how good this baby works. Turn off the lights. Sweetness. So, now for science fair.